Welcome back to Fast Charging with BNB. I am Brian. I'm the bear. And uh, we're on part seven of our Blank is Doomed series. This week we're discussing the true leader in electric vehicles, General Motors. Very yes. exciting. Yes, as our government tells us over and over, GM is the leader, and so is Mary Barra. Mm-hmm. So Let's look at this line is there, up here. Is there any truth to this? Why well, you think we're going to find out? This Cadillac, I have seen it in person. It looks exactly like you expect it to. Which is to say, I wasn't uh, super jazzed about it. Is they that the, the LA That's show. the lyric, right? I believe it is. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. it almost has the celestique look to it, with that. Well, may, maybe it isn't. I'm wrong, but I think yeah. that's the lyric. <clears throat> this concept over here, love it, love it. But that's true of all concepts. They never end up looking like that, do they? No, they they, they don't. It, to me, that looks like the the electric version of a Camaro, and I think it's uh, beautiful, very sharp. Gorgeous. I, I wish it was real and not just a picture. Uh, yeah. And we know this is a picture because in the background we see a Hummer that is not white. So we know that this is definitely a render. That's true. The Trailblazer is going to be real very soon. The Silverado that, is going to be real. That's a Blazer. Oh, sorry. Not a Trailblazer. My mistake. Yeah. The, the, the Equinox, I think in the far right, the red one far right is an Equinox. Okay, so unlike Ford, they do have trucks to show and cars to show. The Hummer is definitely real. <clears throat> the delivery van, is that Bright Drop? Yes. I, okay. Bright Drop, Bright Side, something like that. It's yeah. bright, but those exist and those have been delivered. I have not seen one in person. Um, I've seen the Cadillac, the Hummer. I have not seen the Equinox or the Blazer. And that mm. beautiful car on the right probably does not right, exist. You were right. I think that is the Celestique. The lyric is what I saw. And uh, or maybe I did. I don't remember now which one I saw. I, I think the Celestique is the silver one. <clears throat> if you scroll right. down the page, there's you can click on them. And you'll see which one's which. The lyric is silver. Yeah. And the Celestique. So, yeah, at any rate. Just weird. Uh, let's talk. About their engineering, this first article, CNN pulling no punches, GMC Hummer EV is a brilliant execution of a terrible idea. And, boy, I got to tell you, I am not impressed. 9,000 pounds plus. You know what? I don't care how much it weighs. It's, you know, it, who cares when it comes down to it? Uh, I know that it has an effect on the range, but... If it needs to be 9,000 pounds, you're not buying this car because it's a lightweight car. I've never gone to, into a dealership and said, how much does this car weigh? You know, the fact that it's 9,000 pounds means you're going to be able to get even more tax deductions anyway. So It's almost 3,000 pounds heavier than the Hummer H2. <clears throat> and, and it's very expensive. I think the weight to me speaks to the poor quality of engineering. Um, you see, now, that that is a good point, and if they could reduce the weight, they definitely could re increase the range, and that would be nice, because this this vehicle, I think, still only comes in slightly over 300 miles of range for mm -hmm. 110,000 pounds. So, uh, one day, I will let you ride in my not-yet-bought Hummer that is on order in 2025. Mm, so that's there, that's yeah. part of a roadmap problem. We will get to that. I bought my mom a Chevy Bolt EV. Here's how it went. Yeah, they're um, boring is what they are. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I wouldn't complain too much about little problems on new cars. Big bullet point. Dealerships suck. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's in terms of. Yeah. And it charges pretty darn slow yes uh maximum 50 kilowatt charging on that vehicle which is shameful whenever i go to an electrify america station in any one of various cars i am in and out of there before the bolt that was there when i got there can leave because of the 50 kilowatts it is substantially slower and has a real life effect on the people charging their cars 
I you said the car is boring. I say it's boring. Plus, it tries not to be boring, which means you have all sorts of odd things going on, which mm. I think you can see without me getting into that. But they are selling these cars a lot more than they used to, and this car is taking off the tax incentives. Make this car dirt cheap for an EV. Yeah. Yeah. So for engineering on a scale of 1 to 10, what are you thinking? Are we including? For GM... GM is the brand, as the whole brand. And we're and we're including the future products that they actually have released, haven't released? Uh, um, the ones that are on the immediate horizon, yes. Which is the Blazer, the Equinox, and the Silverado. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm actually super impressed with all three of those. So okay. uh, as much as I don't care for the Bolt and the lack of uh, fast charging on it, or real fast charging... Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to give him an eight. Wow, I'm I'm only at six on that. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> because there's too much room to improve, and I may revise that upward in the future as those new vehicles come out. Uh, then we've got uh, questions like um, demand. Demand for this range of products, I think, is going to remain very strong because they've got something for everything in models that are either available or will be soon. Yeah, very soon. So I don't mean yes. tomorrow, but uh, we are talking this year uh, on some of these products. So demand, I think, is going to be extremely high. And I think, like what you said, they've got a wide range. We just, we've talked about Ford and Ford having three things. One of them is a commercial vehicle. So now they have two things. One's a pickup truck, and one is sort of an SUV. Uh, and we don't know what's coming next. But GM has kind of laid out that roadmap and said, here's what's coming, and it's coming soon. Uh, they've got great uh, aspirations uh, to dethrone Tesla. Will they do that? I don't think so, at least not for a while. But mm -hmm. I do think that uh, they could actually be the real number two. I think they could, too. Uh, they've got... Just with what we've seen lined, uh, laid out here, something in every segment. They've got the cargo van. They've got, yeah, the car. They've got the SUV. They've got the CUV. I mean, they've got it all. They've yes. got it all. So I think I'm giving them a nine for demand for demand for what they've got. I cannot disagree with that number. Okay. So then we get to uh, cost controls. So if we go to the next one here, we see GM CEO, the merriest of bearers, says electric vehicles to be profitable by 2025. I think that's a, a, a good time, time frame because the funny thing is, is that uh, despite the last two good ratings that we've given them, the only car that they've managed to really produce has been the Bolt um, yeah. in any substantial numbers. So they are going in on the low-end car, so they don't have uh, far to go. Uh, Hummers, I don't know what their production numbers are, but we know that those are extremely low and uh, very limited because you can only get them in white. I believe they sold in, in Q1, and I'm not joking, two. Really? Yeah. That was the wrong, that was the wrong vehicle, you guys. What were you thinking? But, hey, fine, whatever. So Maybe it's their, it does make yeah. you wonder about what's the issue. <sighs> what, what is the issue? <laughs> I don't know. Why, I don't know. Why, do why can't... It, are they taking a steep loss on it so they're just slowing down until they can ramp everything up? I think that's up? part of it. And I think they can... I think with batteries constrained, they can build four bolts or a Hummer. Three or four versus one E-Hummer. And I think that's a mistake, a grave mistake. And yeah. I do think they're losing money because that battery is over 200 kilowatts, and that is a mistake. Well, but the but the Silverado is also no, it's the Ram that's going to have the 218 whatever two third. I don't remember. It's that, ginormous for no reason. Well, for a reason. But well, the, the Cybertruck is also going to be over 200, isn't it? We haven't heard, and I don't think it's going to be quite that high. But well, 
We'll see. We'll find we, out. We will see. Uh, probably one of the problems why the Ram is going to be so uh, large is because the truck is going to be so heavy. Yeah. Uh, because they, it yeah. doesn't look like they did much to change the vehicle, much like uh, the F-150 with the yeah. Lightning. There wasn't much change. So you didn't get all those efficiencies from cutting costs or, or cutting weight. Well, we so for really cost ashamed. controls, I'm giving them a seven. They're not profitable yet, but they are still very early in this. And I do believe maybe not 25, but certainly 26. I think cost controls are above average and not not gruesome. What's your thought? Number did you say? Seven? Seven. No, oh, I'm going to six because right now uh, the only thing that they're really making is the bolt. And they've been making the bolt for many, many years. Uh, yes. We're not we're not seeing Hummers. We're seeing very few lyrics. Um, so it's really they're what they're really saying is, in order to be profitable, well, if we're they haven't been able to be profitable on these bolts that have existed for what? How many, how many years are we at? Ten yet? No, I think the Volt would go back 10, but not the Bolt. Okay. But remember, for every one of these they sell, that's probably two or three Zev credits they don't have to buy. So that's yeah. a hidden bit of money to the bottom line mm -hmm. that helps. Uh, cash on hand, $31 billion. <clears throat> And it was an increase in 2022. They finished 2022 with more cash on hand than they started. Thirty-one billion, pretty good. What do you think? Wondering how much of that money came from me. <laughs> That's great. Uh, what are we thinking? I'm no, gonna say it's. I'm, I'm saying that's a that's decent. Um, yeah. It's not I'm, tops on our list. No. Nope. Uh, I'm giving it a seven. Okay. Uh, I'll think? give it a seven also. It, okay. it, it's it's second place to Ford. Yeah. And, and they do have an increase over from 21 to 22. So that's good. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. So then we get to the road map. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very impressed with their road map. So at least they're not being secretive about it. So um, I don't want to give anybody a 10. Uh, so no. I'm, I'm going to just give them a 9. Um, they are saying... They're, they are also planning 50% of their new car sales will be EV by 2030. And this is, yeah. Uh, again, I think demand will be higher than 50%. So, Roadmap, what did you say? Nine. Nine. Ooh. I'm going with eight. Uh, and you're going with nine. So that's going to give us a, a pretty good score, I think. We might have a new leader here. Yeah, Mary Barra. Yeah, the true EV leader. I don't know how we didn't see it before. Six and an eight. Okay. Double nines. A seven and a six. Boy, these are big numbers, Bear. Seven and a seven. And an eight and a nine. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. I believe we do have a new leader by a lot. 76 is the score. And I don't think that's crazy. I think this this is I think they are going to survive. I think their roadmap is correct. I think um yeah, their their cash reserves, while not the highest on the list, are close to the highest on the list. And <clears throat> although I guess Ford had what over 40, but um both numbers I think are adequate to get the job done. They do have a very expensive path ahead to get to profitability. Um and just to survive, really. But I believe they can do it. I think they've got all the pieces. Despite all this, I uh, we're, we're not doing the doomed thing on Tesla. Um, I don't think Tesla has any chance of being doomed with their current business model. And I do think they are still kicking all of these companies' asses all over the place. Yeah. yeah, they are, they are the actual leader in EVs, no matter how angry that makes some people it's still true and uh, I, I mean facts. I guess if somebody really if there's enough comments saying we should absolutely do that yeah okay we'll we'll do that but I, I just don't think it's uh, necessary it, but. it's not necessary because 
it, it, it just isn't. We don't have a yeah. design category, and that's the only thing that's an opinion uh, is whether or not you like the design. Yeah. I do want to thank my patrons who get early access in many cases, bonus content in many cases, and to help but keep the channel running in all cases. So thank you all for your decision to support the channel. It's important, and I appreciate it. Yes, and today on this episode, on this very last, second-to-last episode of Who is Doomed, I just want to give my special thanks to Brian, who spent all the time putting all this stuff together <laughs> while I just wrote his coattails right into this. Thank I you, figured... Brian. I appreciate the, the kudos. I figured since I was the one putting you at such a disadvantage uh, with my long extended uh, trip to, I don't know, prison where I went. I'm not sure uh, that it was only fair. And I knew you were super busy, too. So, you know, hey, man, I'm good at this. All, All right. right. Th that thanks, being everybody. Said, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And, We're out. and we will be back for one more of these uh, tomorrow. Unless you guys love it so much, we have to keep going. And tomorrow we're going to discuss BYD, doomed or not. We'll find out. Doomed. <laughs>